Hi, welcome to week 39. Whew, 39. I can't even believe I'm at the end of September and I'm on week 39. I know I've said this numerous times throughout the year, um, but wow. Wow. There's less than 20 weeks till the end of, of the year. There's less than 20 weekly videos left that I'll need to be making for the, the rest of the year. 13. 13 more. Weird. So as I've explained in the previous videos this month, each week has a theme. And this week is things I'm into, or favorites, for the entire month of September so far. Uh, I've got a couple things that I just learned about this month, and then a couple things that made a reappearance because it's September and it's fall. Being September and fall means that TV is coming back. Not that TV actually ever left, but the season's already starting. For example, today, How I Met Your Mother's premiere was on. I haven't watched it yet, but I have it on my DVR and I'm super excited about it. Besides that, some new shows have started. I don't know if you've had a chance to check some out, but I recently checked out The New Normal. If you haven't checked that show out, it's actually pretty funny. The old woman in the show, the, the grandmother or great-grandmother or whatever, is really kind of annoying and a little bit ridiculous, but overall the show's kind of cute. So if you haven't checked that out, you probably should. It's pretty great. Other shows I'm super excited to come back are Glee, which is on their third episode this week, I think. So far, I mean, it's alright. It's Glee, so I'm not expecting too much, so it's just kind of fun. You know, I'm also super excited for The New Girl, which comes back very soon. NCIS, I'm so excited about. SVU, um, that's going to be amazing. And then, of course, Grey's Anatomy and Scandal, because oh, holy crap. The next thing I wanted to talk about are the new apps that I'm into. I don't know if I've talked about this game yet with you guys, so if I have, sorry. But the newest game that I'm into is Dragon Veil. Yep, I know the name sounds nerdy, but you get to, like breed dragons so I feel like the mother of dragons currently you can call me Khaleesi food dude okay I did not think that I was going to have a whole section dedicated to food until I went to Olga's today I'll get to that in a second have you heard about the pumpkin shake at McDonald's because if you haven't you probably need to go to McDonald's right now and get one they're amazing it's like pumpkin ice cream and pumpkin pie and pumpkin awesome, like just mixed all together and then you drink it through a straw. It's, it's amazing. I think I've had like seven of them. Okay, I haven't had like seven of them, but still, they're, it's amazing. Also, last weekend, uh, I was in Holland for the weekend with the girls, and we went to Furcano's Pizza. And if you've never had Furcano's Pizza, I think they have one in Grand Haven as well. We go to the one in Holland because that's where we go. It's amazing. It's like this thin crust pizza, and it's rather cheap. I mean, it's not really expensive or anything. It's just, like, it's just good. Like, I don't know. We ate, like, four pizzas. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, like, thin crust, and then the cheese, and then they put sauce on top of the cheese, which is really weird and sounds like you wouldn't like it, especially if you don't really like sauce, but it's amazing. Amazing. And Olga's. So today I had to go to the Apple store and get my iPhone looked at because it's kind of acting up a little bit. I think it's just cranky that the 5 came out and it knows it's going to get replaced soon. But anyway, so since I was at the mall I decided to go to Olga's for dinner and Ronnie came out and met me and um, we're sitting at the table and I'm trying to get my phone re-updated because now I have to download all my apps again because they did some crazy crap to it, but whatever. And I'm looking at the menu and I kind of just ordered normal things that I order there and then all of a sudden I saw this soup and I saw the word vegetarian and I was really really excited. It's a feta and spinach soup and it's a cream soup and it has mushrooms in it and potatoes in it. It is probably the best thing that I've had in a long time. It's amazing. I want to go back there and just eat an entire vat of it. It was so good. So excited that they have a vegetarian soup because I've been waiting for them to have some more vegetarian options for a long time and it's it's amazing and our waiter happened to be vegetarian as well so he told me how great the soup was and he was not lying like it was awesome and so other things that I'm into which don't really fit in a category except unless you call it like everything else is all the stuff that's coming back because it's fall first of all fall is my favorite 
favorite. I like spring a lot because it rains and I really like rain, but fall is my favorite. It starts to get cold. You get to wear sweatshirts. Who doesn't like sweatshirts? You get to have bonfires. I feel like I've already talked about this before, but I don't know if you guys understand how excited I am. Like, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. This is the best thing ever. I could put my hood up if I wanted to. Like, it, sweatshirts, sweatshirts. Besides sweatshirts, there's also blankets. Like just wrapping a blanket around you when you're watching TV or sitting on your bed or in your car. I mean, it could happen. And there's walking outside. Okay, so I know you can walk outside in the summer, but it's hot outside in the summer. And who really wants to walk outside in the heat and die of like heat stroke? No one, no one does. But outside in the fall, it's crisp. You just put on a sweatshirt and then you just take a walk. I recently started walking with my friend Annette and it's been amazing. We meet on Sunday morning and we walk around the community track and it's great. We walk like three miles and don't even feel it because it's just like a beautiful day and it's good friends and the talking and the good everything. Last thing that I was really excited about this month is crafting. So I did two crafts this month, actually three. Two of them I can't really show you because they're gifts and if they watch the video, then they would see them and that would be weird. Sorry, puppy's a little restless apparently. So sorry I can't show you those ones. But um, needless to say, I learned how to sew sequins on fabric and I learned how to write on popsicle sticks, which doesn't sound that hard when you say it out loud, but there was a purpose. So my third craft, I actually got off of a video on YouTube and, uh, and then I found it again on Pinterest. So I linked the video in, in the bottom because it's actually kind of cool. Um, it's all about making your own tote bag. So this is my tote bag that I made. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's made all with, um, well, fabric from Joann's and then duct tape. The inside, the lining is all duct tape. Um, which is a little bit weird, but the point of the bag is that it's no sew. It's literally duct tape, fabric, um, the handles obviously, and then staples. So I know that it seems like it wouldn't be that sturdy, but I gotta tell you, I've been using mine um, for the last week and a half, and I it seems to be working great. I bring water into work all the time, and the sweat of the water bottles doesn't seem to bother it at all, and it's pretty fantastic. And you can use whatever colors you want on the inside, on the outside, whatever. It's super fun. So if you like crafting and you don't like sewing, <laughs> then you should probably make the bag. Or... Let me know if you want one and I'll just make it for you because I like to craft. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next Monday. Bye!